my ass, then he's nuts. <laughs> okay? And I've thrown that the offer out anytime. I own a Muay Thai gym in Oceanside, California. I train there six days a week now. Okay? He can come down anytime he wants. We can we can pay-per-view it if he wants. I don't care. You know? But 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 what started that was my fault. It was my fault, and I will own up to that. I was a I, I fell into the childish BS of the backstage thing, you know, and uh, the green minion or whatever the frick his name is went and told him like a little tattletale. But but truthfully, it was my fault. Okay, it was something I never should have done. And in that situation, if I would have spilt his blood all over the WWE floor two weeks after me being there, I don't think it would have looked very good. But I have nothing against him. I, I, I don't. You know, I mean, it, it was a childish deal, and I was responsible for it in the beginning. So I take full discredit for that. All right, here we go. Next question right there. The young man standing up for the yes sweatshirt. How did you feel when you changed the Rock Lesnar I was sad. I was sad for himself. I was sad for me. Um, and I was sad for all the people who were there because it could have been, to this day, the gnarliest match that anybody's ever seen in that ring. Anybody. I mean, Brock is one tough SOB. Brock is just a giant Steiner brother. Okay? okay? So, hitting two guys with... with you know, fairly equal physiques and power and all that would have been knocked down, it would have been a Japanese shoot fight and I would have loved it. But I feel for all the fans and I felt for him because everybody knew we were leaving. You know, they didn't know exactly why. You know, I had enough of them over there and, and he left because he wanted to pursue a, a football career. It's very admirable for both of us. I took a stand, he wanted to move on. You know, it's only three quarters of the way into that match with Regal, or probably nine tenths of the way through that match, that I realized he was trying to mess with me. And, you know, Regal may be tough and all, but oh, come on. Uh, you know, I mean, if, if it would have been two guys doing the same thing, totally different. But I owe it to guys like that. I, I wanted uh, Bob, or uh, Kurt Han uh, not, uh, who was, uh, not Kurt, not, uh, not Henning, uh, Bobby Eaton. I wanted to, I wanted to let Bobby Eaton beat me in his hometown on a dark match because it was his birthday. Okay? They wouldn't let it happen, but the, the fact is, man, I'm here for you guys. And everybody knows it's a show, and we want to provide a good show, but those guys who jumped off buildings for 25 bucks for their entire lives, they deserve they deserve more recognition than they get. You know? It was unbelievable, dude. Uh, I wrestled to get to Japan. Um, watching Hogan pave the way years back, unbelievable. I'm a UWF fan. Uh, dude, I watch everything. Yeah. I watch all of it, okay? Pancrase, everything. I was over at Pride, but you know, Year when Overing was 205. Okay? That was a long time ago. That's where I met most of my good friends over there. And that's where Steiner Brothers and I have our fun. Okay? That's the best place in the world to wrestle, if you ask me. It was unbelievable. And, and Muda, man, I mean, that, what an honor. I mean, he's he's a piper. He, you know, he, he, he's unbelievable. It, it was awesome. All right, here we go. White hat. Why? Because he talked stuff about me when I was at a competing company that I had no chance to go over and do anything to him. Zero. And he got all of that information from his cronies that I worked with at WCW. You know, and I mean, kids, close your ears. Air buffs. I mean, what a bitch move. I mean, really. I mean, when I'm over there, say it. That's fine. But, you know, and, and you know, I just, I'm not a fan of that. Wrestling's wrestling, I get it. But when Ryback in an interview says he has more, more uh, athletic ability than me, well, I can do a backflip right here at 47 years old. Let's let that... Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! I don't fall for that chant crap. You know? I do what I want to do. You guys know that by now. All right, a couple more questions. One more here. Uh, 
Um, you know, it was, like I said, it was a sad night for fans and for me and Brock at WrestleMania. You know, it's always an honor to beat a guy with that much ability and that high in the company. I mean, I'm 1-0. I think I might be the only person who's undefeated at WrestleMania. I don't know, except for Taker. Oh, that guy, yeah. But, yeah. you know, and then afterwards being stunned by Steve. Hey, Steve's a good guy. I can count on one hand how many guys I can say that about in the business, and I love Steve to death. He's a great dude. Great dude. All right. But I didn't copy him, for God's sake. <laughs> Question in the back, red t-shirt. Can you share a memory about you and Randy Savage? <laughs> no, I really can't. Randy Savage. Man. I really can't, man, because I never spent any time with him. I never had the honor to hang out, you know. I never did. I mean, he was just a... I, I, I'd watched from afar, really. I mean, I didn't feel as though I deserved to be hanging around a legend like that at the time, man. We, you know. I don't know. All right, question the Bruiser Brody shirt. Brody, one of my idols, dude. Yeah. Anybody want to know who I looked up to when I watched wrestling back in the day? I'm sorry to cut you off. Bruiser Brody, because he used to smash dudes in Japan. Smash them. Brody, Nikita Koloff, yes. yeah. the Road Warriors. You know, those are those are my the people I looked up to. All right, Shoot, question. man, what's your question? Who was the idea for the street? Uh, I think it was Tanae. I think. I, I don't know. I mean, it just it was organic. Um, it wasn't predetermined. That's why it caught fire like it did, I think. And that was an honor. And, and you know, the Goldberg chant thing, the people don't know why that was a huge honor for me, but I'm a huge hockey fan, and it's a hockey chant. Hello. Yeah. All right, bandana man, what do you got? You wish you would phone call ever did anything? Like what? You mean on a date? <laughs> or what? Oh, I mean, what kind of an imbecile would answer that question? No, man. I mean, yeah, he's a, he's a, he was awesome, and to be able to get in the ring with him and and uh, and wrestle would have been killer. Just I don't want to bust your bubble though. He don't drink those beers in the ring, okay? And and, I, and I'll let you in on something else. <clears throat> the night that we did have the beer bash, I broke my hand that night. I, that's why I drank every single beer. <laughs> and that's when I found out he didn't. <laughs> Alright, question right for me. Yeah. Because I, um, it's really an honor for me on every single level. Um, ten years after the fact, to have one person out here wanting me to ask, answer a question, let alone an autograph or a photo, it's very flattering. And uh, I take it very, very seriously. As you guys see when I'm at the line, and I'm not leaving here today because I'm not taking care of uh, I believe that's what you should do. Yeah, that was right. They don't get a lot of crap, you know, but uh, I'm greatly appreciated and, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say. No, 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 Everybody out there. I promise! Yeah. Yes. You know, everybody. 